Hi everyone, Hillary here with Wild Orange Emporium. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today's video is a what sold for the past two weeks um, because I had the plague. by and I really appreciate you watching and commenting subscribing on uh, my videos I have a plethora of videos to choose from and so far this year I've mostly been focusing on what sold um, videos and not so much on haul videos um, so I hope you're enjoying them uh, the point of them is to show you what I'm picking up or what my sister has been picking up at the bins and what they're going for, and maybe explaining why I pick them up. Um, also, I have my auctions that I do, and the reasons I get those is because they are very inexpensive. Um, so, okay, let's get into the video. Um, but first, <laughs> I wanted to give you uh, my tip of the day ahead of time. With uh, using lists perfectly, I've been posting more on or listing more on Facebook Marketplace. And one of the things I noticed when I, um, mostly it was um, yesterday, when I put something in the groups, so I'm a part of groups in Facebook, like, you know, garage sale, selling, you know, all those kind of groups that within an hour of some of these items, I'm getting a message. And it's like, uh, I want to buy your item. Is it still is it still available? That's what it usually says. And then I say yes. Oh, I want to come pick it up. Okay, great. And then they're like, give me your cell phone number. And that's in the beginning when I first started reselling. I had had this happen. I was so excited, and it was like on, uh, I think it was on Poshmark. And I was like, wow, they love it. Blah blah blah. And, but they wanted to offer me more than what I had it listed for. And I thought that was weird. And then I went and looked at the, who the person was. And they had no followers, nothing. And on Poshmark, followers, shares, and no items to sell. I thought that was weird. And sure enough, I Googled it. And it's a scam. So, if you're new to reselling, um, or if you're not even reselling, and you're just trying to put some stuff on Facebook Marketplace, don't give your personal information out if you can, you know, if, if at all possible, don't do it. So what I did was, uh, for those people, I said, no, please message me within the Facebook Messenger and we can figure out um, a meetup spot. Crickets! So um, I immediately block those people, report them, so um, that, you know, they don't hopefully scam somebody else. So that's your tip. Seller, beware. Um, just... Uh, Try not to take things off the um, the selling platforms because you're protected um, that way much easier um, than than not. So they're fishing for something, and fishing as in P H I S H I N G. Okay, so like I said, I had the plague, and we were supposed to go on a cruise. I was very bummed, but in the big scheme of life, it's okay. But I was really bummed. One, because this is the fourth or fifth time it's been canceled. All the other times were because of, you know, the beginning of the plague. Um, so, but this time was because we tested positive for the plague. And I, the past three days, no taste, no smell. I mean, I'm way past my quarantine, but what a bummer. Anyways. Um... So, the sales for the, the past two weeks, um, what were the dates? The dates were January 29th through February 11th. I had goose eggs on Etsy. I know. If I build it, they will come eventually. Uh, goose eggs on Curtsy. We all know if you've been watching. My hair is driving me crazy. We all know that if you've been watching, Curtsy's hit or miss. Um, then... One, finally, on Facebook Marketplace, and it wasn't a scammer. It was someone bought a seat cover. I didn't put a picture of it up. Um, 
Then five on Mercari. Mercari, whenever they start advertising, um, boy, oh boy, it picks up. So five on Mercari is really good um, for me. And also remember, uh, if you're not listing today, get those items out because tomorrow during Super Bowl, there's people out there shopping. Um, um, then I had seven on Poshmark in the past two weeks. Um, uh, Poshmark's doing great. It's still eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, that kind of direction. Um, and then on eBay, I had 23. And I have to say this week has been really slow. I don't know if you notice whenever they do a new update or changes, it's like the last one was was very slow. This one is too. I, I, I didn't ship anything out today on for the Saturday. I had no sales yesterday at all on anything. Um, some of it's the time of year too. People are thinking about taxes. They're getting their credit card bills, you know, they're realizing, oh. Okay, the top 10 highlights for um, the past two weeks are, drum roll, thank you very much. Number 10, this cute little pineapple charm from Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, it was a commission my friend gave me um, to sell and I listed it and within hours, I got an offer. I had it listed at $25. I got an offer for 21, sold, out the door. So that was probably my fastest selling item in the past two weeks. And you're like, should you have listed it higher? Comps were, were $25. Um, and what's my motto? I'm not a warehouse. So get that stuff out. Number nine. This is a Relativity brand scarf. I don't know if, Rel I didn't even look it up. Relativity, maybe Macy's or Walmart, I don't know. But I, I got a whole lot. I had a whole lot, a lot of them. Uh, I think I picked up 24 um, for a dollar a piece, brand new with tags. So this sold for $9. I'm showing you this, you're like, well, that's, you made $8, $7. But what I'm gonna show you is, this is the stuff. Um, Another reseller, she calls it, you know, her bread and butter. This is bread and butter. Um, new with tags, sell it for a dollar. I took an offer for a dollar. I think I had like listed at 14. Simple scarf. I sold another one, I think, the week before. Did I share that with you guys? So just, you need those bread and butter things. Not everything's a, a top 10. Um, next, my mom sent this Love LUV Betsy Johnson. It's a cute quilted bag. I think they called it a camera bag, um, and it can cross over chain with the chains on the bottom, gold accent, and then a, a leather um, like accent could be a keychain. I had it for six months, and there are likes on it on Poshmark, but no one made me any offers, and so I lowered the price, lowered the price, and so finally this week I got an offer for twenty-one dollars, sold, took it. Um, and I'm thinking she did not get that the that at the bins. I think she found it at the um, at a thrift store. Do you go to the bins, Celia? I don't know if she goes to the bins or not. Uh, next, this was another quick sale. Sale, sell. I do that every time, every video. Um, the Zara snakeskin turtleneck. It's not too heavy, but um, very well made. Uh, this was a commission. Um, remember, I want to tell you where I get items from, too, so that you can source that way. So commission work costs me nothing. I get it after I sell it. Um, I sold this for $28, and it it was within 24 hours. So um, that was a nice little flip. This uh, next item, number six, are these Bonobos jeans. These are men's standard Yes, they're men's. I had I thought I had some bonobos women. No, it was universal. Not universal thread, but this I think it was universal um, that my sister picked up and I'd never heard of them and they were just these big jeans. But they weren't like high waisted. But they felt like this bonobo style. So anyways, I digress. Um, I've had these for probably six months and they, you know, getting likes, sending out offers. Um, and this was on Poshmark, and I sold them, I took an offer for $40. So, uh, great brand, I think Chelsea watched it, uh, Mogi Beth, one of her, on her bolo list. Okay, 
Number five is this uh, very pretty, not my style, vintage royal Hawaiian, oh, royal creations Hawaiian caftan. Uh, purple, beautiful, long, cotton. It had some flaws. Um, I did not wash it. I stated as is. I took an offer on uh, eBay for $50. I think I did an auction first because they're free, so why not? And then I listed it at $99 and um, didn't really, I got lots of likes or people watching it. I lowered it after, I think I got it this summer. It was one of my, um, I went to pick up an auction and they have a picker's sale along there. They had not gone through a bunch of stuff. So I got it for $5, sold it for 50. Um, but yeah, I took an offer of $50. I had lowered it to 89. I know I'm all over the place, sorry. Well, anyways, it sold. Okay, moving right along. Did I sell it sold? Did I say it sold on eBay? eBay. See, the plague just messes with my brain, so I'm a little bit all over the place. All the other times I'm all over the place, it's all me. This time, I'm gonna say it's the plague. Number four. Um, last video, I think I showed that I had the Sorel white snow boots. These are a Sorel, I'm calling them a snow boot, but they're waterproof. They have that duck feel on the front, but they have a felted um, liner inside, so they're definitely for warm, uh, they'll keep your feet warm in winter. And um, these sold on Poshmark on an offer of $118. And this is one of those new without um, box. Um, so I paid up, I think I paid $30 for these. So I was glad to get those gone before the, you know, before it started to warm up. Okay, two and three I combined. And um, you might be thinking, well, well, we've seen this before, the Wolford tights. Yes, I had so many tights. Sometimes the thing about being a reseller is you get tired of listing the same things over. So you take a break and then you it goes in your death pile, so to speak, which is my death basement, which sounds terrible, which is where my pit of awesomeness is. So, you know, I unbury those treasures and get them listed again. Keeps me engaged. Um, so there you have it. So this is, um, Two different pairs. One sold on Mercari at an offer of $39 and one sold, I listed at $42 and um, right away it just sold for $42. I think that was Poshmark. So those Wolford brands, wow, they, they sell really well. These are both been black. All the ones I've had have been, I think that I've sold quickly have been black ones. Yeah. I, I listed a bunch of the Donna Karen vintage and it's crickets. So um, I might need to start lowering those a bit. We'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted because you'll know when I sell them because I'll probably highlight it here. Okay, finally, the most exciting one for me, I thought it was the most exciting, was this very simple Prada t-shirt. And I showed it in one of the um, uh, bins hauls from my sister because Prada, hello. Um, but it's just a simple white t-shirt with a, a cute ribbon accent on the back. And I, I don't know how much it was originally. It could have retailed for $350. But I'm sure Prada marks their stuff up crazy. So I think I had this listed at $75, $80. And I had it for a while and on all the platforms and nothing. Lots of people liked it and looked at it. And it finally, I took an offer of $54 on Mercari. And here's the fun part of it. Um, if someone lives in Brooklyn or Los Angeles or Miami and they're buying something like this, like name brand or something really high or expensive, or they buy it without making an offer, um, then I like to look up their address. I stock them or their name. So it was fun, I'm not gonna tell you who it was, but they had a New York address and they are a um, an actor's child. When you look up their name, it says celebrity child. I'm sure they don't put that in there. I'm sure this person has a job, um, but they're an adult, but they have um, you know a famous actor parent. So that was fun uh, to see that. Just like the, um, oh, it was the 
Ralph Lauren pink vintage uh, t-shirt sold instantly for 50 bucks to somebody in, in New York too. That's when I usually look things up. So I think it's just fun. It makes the, um, makes the reselling engaging in all ways. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, the bins definitely are a huge, huge opportunity, huge opportunity to get low cost. Uh, hopefully if you find good stuff, um, but it's definitely a low cost. There's more work involved, cleaning, steaming, you know, measuring. Um, but if you have um, low amounts of money to spend on sourcing, I encourage you to try the bins and watch some videos of other people at the bins. I think I have a few where I've gone to the bins so you understand what, what it feels like, uh, what it looks like, and uh, know your limits. I'm about a two hour at the bins girl. That's all I can hand. I'm about two hours anywhere kind of girl. So anyways, except for the beach. I spend all day at the beach. Uh, so anyways, my word for the month of January and February has been consistent. Ah! or consistency. And I was thinking, I don't say it as much because maybe because I made it the word of the day, word of the video, word of the month. Um, but what should our, our word be for March and April? I think two months is good. I think it helps us build a, um, a bit of a habit. Um, so mine was being consistent in listing, consistent with making videos. What should the word be for March and April? And, um, if you are a reseller, what are you working on? Um, should it be a word that helps you focus on what you're working on? And then if you're not a reseller, what do you do for a living? Is it something you're working on changing? Let's say you're a real estate agent, but you just like watching, you know, reseller videos. Is it cold contacts? Is it making new contacts? Those kind of things. Or if you, um, don't work outside of the home, what are you working on in your day to day life? Um, Celia, what are you working on? Think of the word of the day. So anyways, that's one challenge. And thanks so much again for watching my video. I just want to say it here now. The Bengals are going to win tomorrow. Hootay!